This is the part of our worship service that's especially for the children. My name is Jean, and a lot of you know me from having been your Sunday school teacher at one point or another. I'd like to share a story with you about spring break when I was a child. I didn't grow up in California. I grew up all the way across the country in New York. Here's a map of the United States. Our church is way over here in Berkeley, California, and I grew up all the way on the other side of the country in the state of New York in places called Brooklyn and Long Island. On this particular spring break, my parents told us we were going to take a road trip to Colonial Williamsburg, which was in the state of Virginia. So we were going to drive from our home on Long Island through all these states down to Williamsburg, Virginia. It was a long drive, so they had us pack ahead of time and get up before the sun even rose to pile in the car and start driving. We napped on and off along the way. Now, Colonial Williamsburg is called that because the whole town is set up as if it were still a colony of England before the time when there was a United States. There were actors pretending to be from the 1700s dressed in those clothes. There were um, blacksmiths and carpenter shops and a courthouse with the people having the powdered hair or wigs back in ponytails, kind of like the pictures you see of George Washington or Alexander Hamilton. Uh, we, took, we took a ride in a horse-drawn buggy. I, um, I really liked the kitchens too. I was about 10 years old at the time and I was learning how to cook and the kitchens had these great big fireplaces with pots hanging over the fire for cooking stews and soups and all sorts of stuff. And I even got some souvenirs there that I still have today. Even as a grown up, I saved them because they were so special to me. I have this little cast iron pot like the ones that hung over the fire and this other pot too, like what they put on a wood stove. Even though they're toys, they're kind of heavy because they're actually made out of cast iron. I even have a little, a little iron. I just dropped part of it and iron. And you can see how they, they made it look pretty, even though it was just an iron for ironing clothes. Anyway, it was a wonderful day. We had such a good time. We were really happy to have that opportunity on the first day of spring break, but soon it was time to go home again. And we figured, okay, that was the best part of spring break. Now we'll just go home and, you know, play with our toys, play with, play with our friends, whatever. We piled back in the car and we fell asleep because it was a long drive home and it was already evening. Well, at some point, several hours later, I woke up and I looked out the window expecting to see some familiar sights from the freeways in New York. I figured we'd probably be almost home by now. But instead I saw palm trees. Palm trees? There aren't any palm trees in New York. So I asked my mother, Mom, where are we? And she said, South Carolina. South Carolina? We were supposed to be going from New York to Virginia and then back again, but instead we were in South Carolina? That's the opposite direction. What the heck? Well, it turned out they had to spill the beans then. We were on our way to a vacation in Florida. We were going to a beach in Florida for the whole rest of spring break. Just when we thought the best part of spring break was over, there was something else that was just about to begin. We were so excited we couldn't believe it. We were looking out the window the rest of the time, seeing all the new sights go by. And then when we got to the place where we were staying, looked down at the pool, our friends from across the street in New York were already there. Our parents had planned it that we would meet there and spend the whole rest of spring break together. What a surprise. We were just so happy. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I never would have believed it that my parents could do something like this and keep it all a secret from us. And it was just so amazing. And we had a wonderful rest of spring break. And I remember that trip always. Just when we thought everything was done from Williamsburg, we had this other new beginning that was just even more amazing. Today's Bible story takes place after Jesus had already died and risen from the dead on Easter, and his friends were sitting around talking about everything that had happened, they heard that people had seen him, but they hadn't, most of them anyway, hadn't seen him, and it was really hard to believe until suddenly there he was among them. They were able to see him with their own eyes. He sat with them 
ate with them, spoke with them, and told them about the work that was still to come for all of them in sharing his message with the world. Just when they thought everything about Jesus was ending, a new beginning was put before them. Let's end with prayer. Gracious God, thank you for spring break, for family vacations, for surprises, and for always providing a new beginning every time we come upon an ending. In your many names we pray. Amen.